very unique in that aspect, how you can safely clear corners. But we are live into it. We'll be seeing how this goes down. CNED already. And look at the amount of utility that's going to be across the board here. Just <laughs> so much to clear through. Indeed. CNED is going to get himself tucked outside on short here. Oh, actually, again, the flash going to go through the wall. CNED going to try and close this kill down onto Rhyme. Neither of them able to find it, but a one for one trade. JD comes back through and picks up CNED. So an advantage goes over to NIP early on here. Yeah, this is... I want to see that... Oh, cold and mentor. The timing was pretty atrocious for him. Then try to go walk about to mid to try and maybe pick up those pieces of information that were lost as they did have that bit of a sloppy trade out down kind of mid short. And for now, Bone Cold's the one responding quickly towards B. Not quick enough to quite catch the player off who's slipping through towards Elbow. That's going to be a shot to the side of the head pretty soon. No, just about gets away with it. It's Chihuahua on the flank. He just needs the player who's sat towards Hooker to live. And this will be two quick kills. Yeah, there's one. Subbots out the second. Yeah, gorgeous work from Chihuahua. Really good positioning. The long flank around Elbow. Couldn't ask for more. And although we didn't touch this on the agent select as well. Chihuahua being on the Sova. Interesting one that I'm going to have to keep my eye on as this progresses because, again, we look towards NIP's defensive half and two hours. How many times have we seen him in that lurk role, the, the anchor role, solo sight play style from him? So that's actually a big switch up for NIP. Yeah, and uh, okay, so take into account, let's say, traditionally that Cypher uh, played it 39 times on record you're going to have it three times on Sober. So he has played it again. Same with the Killjoy prior to that previous game yep. once. So yes, of course, played it and they'll play it in their own time. But in official games, nowhere near as much on record in that sort of aspect. It's a an interesting one to see, though. I want to see how it applies to him, see if that play style works. Looks like the swing's coming in and actually Ooh. gets a bit of a chihuahua. That's not bad. Of course, could have been in trouble, but no. Controls it well on both. Could be trying to get those guns back. So I think that was a rifle that got dropped. You can see Cold Amenta trying to be around this. And that's good work from Cold Amenta. Finds a Kukos. And now the second will be big. No, Kriya keeps it in check and keeps this round pretty safe. I've been huge, actually. Yeah, Kriya down to 34 HP. To close that one out, it would have been the upgrade to the Vandal. Now, CNED. Got to make his way through pipes here. And Darzo miles away. Here. I guess just looking for an exit. You know, it spots the barrel. Uh, we peeling away from sight just yet. Ryan will catch sight of him. You can see here, Starzo wants to try and get this vandal off the board, make it costly for NIP. I don't know. He keeps it himself. Creo actually does catch that kill uh, off screen. Scene Ed tries to find one for his own, but nothing left to find there. NIP will post their second. We go 2 0 up, so. Start initially, I mean, good response from Ascend here. This fight. Uh, again, look at the damage done with that shock dart as well onto Korea. Finds the kill on the Kukos. It's unfortunate there. Doesn't close out that kill. Because I think he did enough damage with the shock dart there that even just the one headshot from would've the classic would have closed it out. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you're right, that was potentially a rifle then, filtering around. Yeah, a couple more dangers could have been had, but. We go again. 3-2 split. Kind of the standard approach from NIP by now. We've seen a lot of aggression towards showers. This is a commonly fought for territory. Killers, though, just flexing on a Kukos. That's not free. Chihuahua unable to use that owl drone as he'd like. And Rhyme slowly making progress. I don't know if Bone Cord spotted that. It doesn't look as though he did. No, caught unawares and vulnerable. That's a big pickup, especially with the SMG now. Now, if that was recoverable, that would have been even bigger, but still good work from Rhyme. Yeah, and I mean, we talked about this a couple of times today already. Just, uh, the uncharacteristic things we've seen from NIP. Right there, I mean, spread so thin on this default to have somebody full on challenge that deep in showers. It's strange to see, but Starzo now got it all to do on backside. He's stuck in that slow, but holds the line. Chihuahua will fall. Korea posted up and find that one. Starzo actually going to note out two players there. JD up on top of the boxes. Last one. Actually, Starzo still standing. JD eventually deals with him here, and that's going to give high control over to NIP. All three players tagged up. JD going to hit the heel on himself. Keelers and CNED got to find a way back in here. 
It's a sick bonus round, and look at the damage done. Korea can just operate perfectly on towards that site. Spray away by Kieles, but the crossfire here, JD's mm. position is kind of the, the spoiler to this. Kieles Sweet would have to kind of swing out, hit the shot, and be untradeable, which is going to be very difficult for him to define. And it's the attempt now. Spots him out. Not going to happen. Can't get past the first. JD will find it. And NIP, the bonus is theirs. Yeah, JD playing that angle perfectly. He's got the drop onto the box and the window drop just at the right angle. Again, if Keyless finds that 1v1, it's it's definitely doable with Korea being so so low. Poor Hachi. Keyless, I didn't even spot that at the time. Keyless nearly actually finds that one through the tube. That would have been a big kill, but like I said, JD's angle just too strong for him to deal with. Never lose sight. Now the buy, as said, that bonus did go to NIP, so their economy's in a wonderful position going forward. Get to stabilize and keep building up that bank. Now on the other side, we do see Shotties coming out. Kiles going to be up on towards that. And a couple of sheriffs. So, not ideal. NIP just need to try and keep this clean if they can. Make sure they feel out that stack. Give nothing away. This will kind of lean in a little with Chihuahua maybe to try and get that big information as best he can. Sky as well. Already forced away slightly off long. And a lovely start for Ryan finding CNED. Big beginning. Yep. Seekers immediately popped on the back of that. NIP going to try. Actually, Ryan going to double satchel to sight here. Loads of space off the back of those Seekers. Lots of information as well. JD going to find Bone Cold now. This one pretty much in the bag for NIP. Just got to clean up and Chihuahua does just that. The flawless round. NIP go 4-0 up. Good work so far. Now the buyback in is going to be very important. This is the big round to start with. Bone Cold yet to get on the board, but it's it's been a pretty quiet start overall for Ascend. Yes, you've got Keeler's doing okay, but the rest on one kill. On the other side, of course, Chihuahua, JD, Korea, all putting up numbers, sitting pretty happy. And was it an op coming out for CNED? I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, yes. There you go. There he is. Let's see what he can do with this. Where is he right now? Let's see what he starts with. They have been consistently annoyed by someone coming through Hookah. It has been that raised play, and there goes half of the map. <laughs> Just before that round started, there, there was literally six Astro Stars in showers, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Ooh, the ultimate investment as well is quite unique. Now, that's going to be a curious one because I feel as though that almost negated Zenith's presence, but apparently it makes it look so simple. He's still using that at such close range and great work from Killers as well, just kind of predicting or at least kind of dealing with the bounding through Rays. And now Chihuahua trying to even up the score. Not going to see a tag come through yet. No, nothing achieved. And NIP looking worse for wear here. Zenith. And a back away now. Oh, oh, damn! The audacity on this man! Walks out, takes a pick, backs away again. And yes, the walls are there. Yes, they can at least kind of contain sight, but they are not impenetrable. There we go. Finally, a wall goes up, but old Korea's in all kinds of problems now. Swung on by a few. Good work, oh. Kieles. Good spray adjustment in the end. And Ascend, do what is necessary. You can, once again, you can see, though, in IP. Trying to use that Astro Ultimate to split the same way we saw on Haven. Again, the utility from Ascend. Able to run the clock down enough there. And uh, I mean, ultimately, as soon as that wall goes down, something needs to happen on the side of NIP. And unfortunately, Ascend don't give anything away to them. So Ascend will post their first round win. Hunter's Fury, Bladestorm, Seekers all available. Once again, look at the stars and showers. What showers? I can't see anything. <laughs> it's all just stars, smokes, and blurs and ultimates. Here we go. Cold Amenta going to send it down. Did get a tag on this one, and Korea looking for an opportunity in the meantime, but nothing quite garnered by it. It's too wild to find the first towards Cena. That's a pick across on towards B. That was off of B long towards the site. Yeah, look at it. It's all the way in on glass outside tube on site. And that's the operator, so that's a hell of a kill for Chihuahua to find. Not sure if that was on the cooldown of Hila's wall, but on the back of this, NIP 
Actually going to swing back over towards a site. Bone Cold now got himself tucked in a very deep position. Whether or not he gets cleared oh. by this, he has to deal with it. No one saw on that. Fair Interesting. Enough. Yeah, I'm not sure on this by NIP. They've given Bone Cold the chance to live. The res comes out. Sure, they can suffer through. Bone Cold now is in a bit of danger. Sees the players on short. That's a little bit of a jump peek just to make sure where they are. And now here we go, bounding through on showers. He should be noted. That should be sent right to him. <laughs> and Ascend just get wiped out on this unless a mad flank comes into play pretty soon. Kiles has to be incredible in this. Spike goes down, spots are on the left, sees him, looks towards the side, gets the tag, not the frag, not good enough. Akukos does him in. And now Stark so surrounded on all fronts. That kill would have been absolutely huge. And actually the wall gonna go down, try and box Starzo into lamps here. Prime now repositioned and will find the headshot. NIP strike back immediately. 5 1 now. Yeah, and a lot invested though. I guess, yeah, they have the revive, and that's why they took it a little slow in showers there. But I'm with you. The Bone Cold should have been hard cleared out of that corner as soon as they know his position. Money. Be I was going to say, money wise, look at it for Ascent yeah. here. It's in a weird spot, maybe why they've called the tactical timeout. Probably a, a decent idea to go for here, just to kind of talk things through. See what they want to do, because you've got, what, Coldamenta was on like 3k. CNED's a little lower, definitely not op territory, but he does have his ultimate, so may not need it. Kiles and Bone Cold, a little light too. This is, this is going to be a weird round. See really what they decide to do on the back of it. Doesn't look like they're set up for any early round aggression in showers this time, but it's still a three-man stack on A and two looking towards short. I think they're gonna pop the blade storm off the rip. Our drone gonna find no information, but I'll let them know there's no stack up outside hooker at least. Going through shower now. Straight up utility game between the two, but the sad fact is that there'll be a fair crack more left on NIP at the end of this. They do come in with a better buy, of course. Priya. Ooh. Ooh. Priya's quite... He's not necessarily alone. There is someone not too far away, but he could have been isolated there. And again, it does just look like NIP want to punish any aggression that comes through. They are fighting for shower control. They'll garner that. They're not leaving B absent either. Well, we're going to get forced away, but gives away position as well. Should at least keep them present in that regard. Oh, they're gonna, they're, they might hit this against a four stack, which left. is going to be a little uh, well, sketchy. As I said, they've left it so late here that Ascender pretty much well set up to receive this nice wall though towards lamps rhyme on the swing as well really good work from rhyme there i actually really love this rhyme taking the aggressive swing oh. this is beautiful work one mag just dumps them and now cned and killers now cena does have his ult but he needs killers to make some space here because rhyme's gonna just sacrifice himself if required but he wants it all he gets it all great work from rhyme that's perfectly played by him. I love that kind of wall towards the kind of, you know, L-Bend or U-Haul, uh, whatever you like to call it. I don't really care. But the aggressive take after that, just yeah. straight up man play on this. Yeah, Rhyme there to agree. As soon as that wall comes down, anybody looking to retreat outside of lamps and... Love seeing a clean ace like that. Beautiful. Yes, lesser weapons on the side of Ascend, but beautiful nonetheless. There. 6-1 now. Uh, Scoreline-wise, this is flat from Ascend as well. They're not looking so sharp. We know that Cena can be a game-changer in this, though, so I wait with bated breath, but I want to see what they do now because you know you're coming up against a team who's going to be able to get that buy going. They'll be able to afford the op, so I want to see if there's maybe a different approach for uh, NIP now. I'm going to get that old orb over by B-Long, and they've just garnered that. A little bit of progress made to... <laughs> Look, he's land proven. Don't worry. You can't even question it. Kiles gone. And so's the first man for ascend. Oh, God. That actually trying. does get cleared out of that. Rhyme just switched away weapons, it looked like. Caught sleeping, and Bone Cold will 
Got the kill on the back of it. Eekers will reveal CNED's position, but... The other one headed towards B. Looks like they're going to try and follow this one up, but it expires just before getting inside Hooker, so... No real information, valuable information at least, gained off that one. Now, if a send double stack towards long, they actually could do really well if they find this fight cleanly, because you get such a nice catch on the cross coming out from Hooker, but... Timing's going to be a huge factor. Good flash. Oh, the flash off the back, but there is Bone Cold needs to double. Oh, he can't. Chihuahua comes right back in, and now the site's theirs. This is going to be NIP's plant for sure at this point. Taking a second or two, actually. Maybe not. Korea hit the break for a second. Found Cold and Enter and CNED. A pixel out of place he will find, but the kill is JD's, and the round is NIP's. That was such a good flash as well. Such a good flash. Unfortunately, Bone Cold spray just... Just gets away from him. They able to find the second. <sighs> That's tough as well. Because like you said, I mean, they're well set up there. If that crossfire finds both players on long, really, they can reset. And they have two angles to hold on to beat. Forces in IP to make the next move. Yeah. I've, I mean, I've got to see a bit of a switch here from Ascend there. Uh, they're really struggling on defense. Blinded. There. I'm going to get checked on here. No way out of it. You can see the intention of Bone Cold and Stark. So, knows there's another. Oh, that's gorgeous again from Rhyme. He's on point today. See Ned just doing some aim training. Quickly, though, you got to get ready for your match. Seven one. <laughs> the second one was clean. You're oh, gonna get a look, weapon upgrade here, though. Are any of us really doubting CNED's ability? Like, really? I mean, he's got his ult. He doesn't even need the rifle. I mean, man's fine. Grabs the gun. Has the TP of fancies. But obviously, we know more than he does. Unaware that they aren't just wrapping through showers. Spike now down. Spike planted. What are you meant to do with this? Yeah, Rhyme has been, he's been here for so long now, just posted. Watching the spawn. Again, the plant is good for his side. He's going to find that angle. Wise. Back away onto site. Enforce here with a coup cross, and they set up another crossfire here. Really difficult. Enid wants to recover this round. The jiggle peak, and Rhyme swings on it. That's another headshot. Rhyme just clean with it this round. Okay, when did Once NIP again. become an attacking team? Hmm? It's about, well, an hour ago. Um, I mean, look, Ascender attacking team, right? We, we know that. We know that. That's that's a freebie. We got that info. We've got the memo. We're fine. We, we understand that. But NIP? I mean, all right. I'm excited. I'm just confused. Well, this kind of leans back in the other direction when we talk about uncharacteristic from nip which we've touched on today already but this is fantastic to see i mean haven the, the same concerns came out once again for me which is those those fact finding rounds right and, and unless they find loads of value off giving away those early rounds it's kind of difficult to watch but through icebox and the first nine rounds of bind here it's it, it's <laughs> night and day can we just observe a game like that Above. Very aesthetic. Kind of like it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, it is night and day. And 8-1 to one is, is an incredible scoreline. And Ascend aren't stopping this. CNET's being kind of neutered in approach. And not getting any of that same kind of impact that CNET can have. He's just not having the opportunity to. Uh, and here we go. Finally gets a 1v1. Wins it. Now that's no surprise. But Rhyme's been filthy again, these trades. Cold and Mentor, okay, okay. I thought he was just running that. If he went through all willy-nilly. No, no. Now, though, NIP. A lot of attention drawn towards Rhyme here. And it is just Rhyme, keep in mind. Now, the ultimate is down towards Showers on the other side as well. So it's going to be hard to find approach. Both extremities are being patrolled. You've got CNED over towards B-Long. And you do have the Viper ultimate over towards a Showers. So... Really, your options are going to be Hooker or Short, and Bone Cold just gets a freebie. 
And IP really 30 seconds left now and they've got a completely fresh approach. Look at B site here. See that will catch a Kukos on the jump. And re-peak onto Rhyme. Korea, the last man standing, will find the headshot though, but 20 seconds gotta find another one. If he wants to find this plant, will do, but Coldementa brings for the trade. Then we'll post their second and Ultimate wise, yeah, Kiles obviously invested over towards shower there. Left. I love this here again, just swings ready. back onto it. Just another one of those confident plays from CNED. I have to ask the question, where's the rest of them though? Bone Cold, I want to see him right up there with him. I want to see Stark so cold and mentor, you know, these kind of impact players from the first couple of maps have been a little quiet. Uh, <laughs> Not loving this yet from Ascend. I want to see a little bit more in the form of overall consistency. Now, that's an interesting investment of the ult to start with. Yeah, it's greeted close enough. Keyless just completely negates it, but Rhyme, look at that. Actually, Keyless getting pulled back towards showers there, nearly getting pinched with the showstopper. The kind of the thing that we want to see. Yeah, Bone Cold, actually, we'll find a Kukos on the cross. This is a problem for an IP. They, they've kind of hit a bit of a brick wall here. And they've just been boxed on in. I mean, look at the flank as well, Stark. So this could be so big, the timing. Just dips around the corner, just counting a couple of seconds. Yeah, the timing's excellent. Almost made a mistake, but no. Bone Call now breaks through. Beautiful. This is excellent stuff again. And that was lovely work from Ascend. That's the team I'm waiting to see. It's, yeah, I mean, because I hate to say it, obviously there was this slight switch up here for Ascend. We we look back on previous performances, right? Even against NIP Last previously, Bone Cold on the Brimstone. We know that on attack, how heavily they like to lean on that post plant. Here, they don't have that opportunity. Yes, they still have Keyless. But for me, I, I mean, I was looking for Ascend to have a, a, a strong defensive half. Like I said, the expectation is for them to flex out on attack. So... Gonna have to see a different look from them, but they can close this out. Eight four would be, a, I mean, a miracle considering how this route, this half has gone. Oh, they, they, <laughs> look, we don't. Surely it's not another mad comeback, is it? Sure, sure. I don't know. I don't know. You sound like Yinsu now. He's just, he's just trying to bait it. I know. We've got a whole other best of three after this, mate. Yep. Feels like a marathon between these two, but CNED with the first on towards the Kugos. I'm looking to see if that reaction comes from Rhyme. It looks like he tried to get some work done towards B while that was going on, but didn't find as much success as maybe he had wanted. And no opening starts, no entries being given away. Bone cold on the bait. Yeah, no, no easy beginnings here. And I be happy to sit back now we see this a couple of times when they lose out in the first blood i guess just waiting out the utility see if ascend try and flex at all on the back of it but bone cold gonna get you will not kill a little bit set up yeah jd actually gonna get a kukos back on his feet but 30 seconds now and pressure mounting here because there's another snake bite to stop that showers push coming through it's going to be a desperation hit from NIP here. The Hunter Fury seconds. going to draw things down as well. Oh, this is... This is not pleasant at all, is it? This is well held, of course, by Ascend, but NIP just having nothing. Ooh, and CNED just going to make sure of that. Bye-bye. Well, Ascend will close out 8-4, and that really... The best it's scenario. Yeah, it's the best scenario you can hope for with the way that started out. Again, it just, uh, again for NIP, this this relies on Ascend basically using all the tools at their disposal. Right there, both mollies go down and showers. The Hunter's Fury there, it's, it's the perfect angle to line that up for showers as well. They're kind of boxed in that tight space. See now really what Ascend have up their sleeves. So I'm looking towards some really interesting executions coming out on the back of the Astro and the Viper combination. What are you giggling at? I can't tell which ones are which on the map now. Nope. Nope. Um, 
But okay, four rounds, I genuinely say is enough for a send. If I, I want to see them pick up the pick pistol to start off with. I think that's kind of one of the key points of this is to give them enough build back room. Remember, they lost, if I'm not mistaken, the pistol and the bonus in the previous and then still... Yeah. Oh no, I, actually, I can't remember how it went down. My brain is mush. I think it was something along those lines. So they need a little more than that. Now, shoulder peaks aside, Kukos can fall away from this. We'll move away from the angle, forces the play away from long, so Sen just going through the motions of clearing as they go. They've drawn a lot of utility out of the player by B long, which is a Kukos. It's looking at it, Rhyme's got his nade. And Akuko's still got one flash, but obviously now with the nade being used, there's not an awful lot left for NIP. And actually on the flip side of that, look at Ascend. Still looking pretty healthy utility-wise, Korea. I'm find something early on in Hooker here, but... I think initially in Ascend now leaning heavily, creeping towards B site. 30 seconds left. Priya, done. <laughs> Starkso just bounds through. Oh, Starkso, hello. That ain't bad. And Ascend just burst onto the site. This is, this is theirs all day long. Ryan and JD trying to just bully the way through. And they're getting a couple of kills, but not enough. JD now left with it all in front of him and bone cold. Says no. So here we go. Ascend, find one back. We have to find out, was it enough from NIP? Eight rounds. Was it enough? Looking back, and uh, I mean, last time, obviously on the 13 9 scoreline, it was 6 6 in the first half, and NIP defended first. So, we have a switch up this time around, but you think towards round two conversion, bonus round can potentially always go in the attacker's favor with a fast hit, and that brings it straight back to 8 7. Taking that back. This is the one I look towards Ascend, really the big tick in the box is getting this one done. Rhyme spotted out deep on site here, but JD actually going to open things up onto Cena. That's on on short, so that's a big kill to open things up for an IP. How does he... I don't know, I just completely unopposed. It looked like he hasn't taken any damage in, yeah. in response to that. A little strange, but okay. With three people just... stacked there as well. Yeah, maybe just a fadeaway shot? I, I don't know how he got that without getting any damage towards him. Rhyme now, going to be pressured on the side. Flash comes out. Rhyme on the swing. Not today. Nice work from Ascend to get a couple, but Kree is okay. still being a bit of a threat. There's still plenty of danger in this. It is a 2v3. Kiles and Bone Cold trying to do something with this. Bone Cold trying to work through. Might catch Kriya. No. Nice work with the utility killers now. Trying to stay alive. Pressure comes in. Well handled. This is really nice play Beautiful. between each other. The Kukos, though, there is a chance on Kiles. Lower on HP. Makes it a little further ahead of the utility. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we wait here for a second. I love that, though. Just on the off chance, the Kukos did manage to catch. Fortunate timing through. Molly comes through to stop that push. 46 HP now, a classic in hand. Very difficult for him to find a way back onto this. Keeler's actually juggling the Bulldog away. Want to give him the opportunity to try and save a weapon at all either. The Vandal there just kind of baiting him, actually. We'll find Keeler's. Going to tap it. Raw Bone Cold just a little bit closer. Again. Right here, I'm um, just okay. Beautifully it's done. Fine, Beautifully but... done. But does he save the Vandal as well? That's uh, don't yeah. know if he gets far yeah. off. Yeah, he does. Nice. Now, how many of them came into that with pistols? I know there was one ghost carried through, but look. they now effectively don't get like a, a full bonus, right? They have to full buy back into this. They can't ride anything out from the previous round. It's incredibly disruptive, and again, credit to Akukos for that. Very well done to try and kind of bring this back down, because now we have an even purchase, essentially. You look at the money balance, it's pretty much on par. So, navigating through the benefit they could have had. NIP now lead, 8-6. to six. 
continuing this going forward. And Ascend, I, I don't know what Ascend we're going to get. Their attack side are normally so for, formidable. And at this point, once again, the battle for Shower continues. We do have that slower kind of play towards Hooker, at least for JD. He's going to get a pretty decent angle. Just kind of lock that down. We we'll have to see how patient and IP are going to be with this. Scout destroyed. Yeah, <laughs> the three-man lean actually. Chihuahua's position noted. Lena's okay. Oh, he was staring into that corner there, but. Nothing really to clear him out unless he dry peeks on and Ryan will show his position as well. Oh, this is horrible, man. Knife's edge I've stuff. I've got your trail. Okay, what, 30 seconds now? Where's the opener? That I mean, Cena's dead. Ryan's just posted an aid down, so now you're gonna have what, two players towards, I think, lamps? Tucked in towards this. You serve the one tucked towards the back of sight. This is so weird with these smokes coming in the way it's divided with these walls. Rhyme. Just trying to wait on the other side of this. And this is the difference with Astra. This is a very unique post plant now. Oh, okay. JD just swings on that though. Kira's... Kira still has both mollies, but again, the diffuser's coming through so early that it's not even going to matter. Rhyme's just sticking this one. It comes through. Plaza will find a constellation or two, but NIP squeezed that one out. Again, a perfect example, not giving Ascend an opportunity to lean back on that post plant. And right there, usually, I mean, I, I'll say usually Bone Cold's the one to fire his molly first as Brimstone. True. Usually the one to, to to kind of buy that time. Get, you know, get some time, allow Keyless or the, the Viper in this scenario to get to that lineup position. Again, because if you lean on that too early, it, it's a body away from sight. I think Astra's going to be such a big discussion going forward, and JD's under early pressure. I'll come to this in a moment's time. This does slow down the pace a little, of course. Um, play up towards B long as well, and Kukos going to deal with that. And troubles are plenty. Trying to get the full information he can. Coldementor noted. Again, this default holds for now. They have gained shower control. They've pushed away the B long control. This isn't a bad start for Ascend. Considering what they're working with, which is Sheriff, Ghost, and Sheriff, and then the two rifles. Yeah, looks like the Ned going to try and reset for this heal, potentially. He's grouped up with Darzo. Kukos going to send out the Seekers, going to get some information here. But weirdly enough, actually, that one didn't spot out Cena. It went straight past him, so... I'm not, feature. Yeah, I'm it's not a feature, entirely man. sure how that works, but... I swear Seekers have been struggling recently. Like, they're getting caught on walls and stuff. They're having a really rough start to the year. Ryan, however, not. Finding Cenid again. Cenid's going to be starting to get so mad about this. Nader twice now. And Ryan still lives, and he's a nuisance being here. They want to clear him as best they can. Killers are just going to kind of put him into the box for now. Okay. Put that down, he can't really do too much. They can at least keep some part of the site safe. Now the spike is planted, a 4v4 post plant. And actually, yeah, the Hila's going to get the ultimate down nice and early. Bone Cold and Cold Amenta. Find two kills. Now it's just on Kriya and Akukos here, and there's so much chaos on site right now. Bone Cold's position noted now. Amenta with a perfect pinch, and Kriya just got to try and find something, do some damage to the economy, but a nice round. Uh, I was going to question it, and Cenid going down to such low HP, Starzo not opting to heal him there. I guess, you know, waiting for somebody else potentially to take some damage. Uh, but the fact that he, he he died to the nade explosion, right? It wasn't even like the, the, the trickle damage. It wasn't the, the shells that actually ended up clearing him up. So it was really weird, because if Cenid's still going to be the front man there, I would have maybe expected a, a bit of a heal to come out. I'm just trying to get my head around some of these post plants with... Let it play out. <laughs> <laughs> let, it, let it roll. It's just so much utility on the site, man. It's just like, and here's one wall, here's another. 
Here's some acid on the floor, but also a couple more walls for you. Ooh, that time not so nice. The scene, Ed, it was two, <laughs> it was two zero in that little battle. Now two for one. Gets himself on site and it's all theirs. This was a stack towards eight. There was four players towards the A site, and uh, as we can see, not the right place. But I don't mind a stack. You got to try it out sometimes. See if you can make something work. Y you can't just play it like normal. It doesn't work that way. See, Ned, just going Ooh, full another headshot. Eco Cobra, loving it. This time around, again, not that it's going to matter here. The numbers of advantage pretty strong on site. It's called a mental will find Korea, but Keeler's left in that, that late lurk up through market. So he's there's no risk in leaning onto that post plant. If anything did go horribly wrong on site, but it's flawless nonetheless. Ascend now, bring it to just a one round deficit. Okay. Know that... Traditionally, Ascend's strong point is their attack. We've we've always spoken about how diligent they are on that and how much we enjoy stylistically what they can bring and the kind of power between... Traditionally, it's CNED and Bone Cord, but really, it's it's quite an even spread below Bone... Uh, it's below CNED. You have Kiles on, what, 12, Starks at 10, Bone Cord 11, and Cold Ament 7. Um, uh, not too much disparity on the NIP side either. A little heavier towards the top with Rhyme and JD. Rhyme's just been getting freebies on CNED somehow. I, I, those nades have been so annoying to deal with, I'm sure. Um, but, but as it stands, this is a close game. Now, the money is back in for NIP. They were on that eco before. They went for just a site stack and hope for the best. <laughs> no. no worries. I mean, it's <laughs> back in enough left. for a buy. All right? Back in for a buy. Good thing is, I mean, actually, yeah, 1,200 overall left in the bank for an IP, but a couple of ultimates online and a couple very close as well. Cold Amenta with a very early Hunter's Fury over towards Market. Seekers vested as well. Send not able to close the gap, though. For waiting this one out. I mean, actually... Are they waiting on counter utility? Yeah, NIP able to reset. They're already they've stacked got a spike up plant. This. Yeah. Look, look how much site control they've been able to maintain, though. Like, NIP playing back into this, they're going to have to try and clear site. That's great work from Akukos. We were to clear this much, get that much info, get right back into site. Now we see Viper's utility coming out to play. That's going to at least divide the site in some way, force the fight from CNET. Ryan gets it, now just throws his body into it, gets called a mentor. JD pushes forward, expects the peak from Lamps and finds it, and then Beautiful. forcing Killers out of the smoke, and he's done for. Starkso now left in the 1v4, and this retake was absolutely picture perfect. And sadly for Starkso, he can't go any further than that. Uh, that was interesting there. Uh, again, playing so close after NIP give it up, right? Uh, we've talked about Ascend's one kind of goal is to get in and get those dry plants, right? Yeah. Uh, on the back of, you know, one or two smokes or a flash and, and the wall going up. The fact that they're given that and then they play it so close, it's kind of weird to see because Keyless is all the way, he, he's on rugs. He's in cubby on short. So, again, taking that fight so early on, we talk, we credited NIP for it, but to not have that deep set up on the back of it, it's just a little odd to see there. Interesting three-play stack down middle as well. You had three players push forward from the defending side. Ascendo going to try and take Shower's control, but they've left basically the extremities open. You don't have the fight for Shower. You don't have the fight for B-Long. I wonder how much information NIP really have to work with on this. Well, man, I'm not going to actually spot anybody out with that, so... Value initially. And actually, both members left on B now, as they did rotate one away, but it's uh, Free and Rhyme, and they're both on Tube. In tube, sorry, I should say. Is Ryan pushing forward? Oops. Okay. Well, yeah, he's going to get a deep angle here. So I prefer this setup here. Korea can maybe take a little bit of a peek, spot somebody out, and bait somebody in for Rhyme. 30 seconds left. Strangy Myers on that spike has just been collected now. They need to get progress building early. 
Because if that spike gets you and they've got nothing, it's 20 seconds until Sai here. Here we go. Rhyme decides to go on the first. He had to in the end. See, that makes it tricky, though. And now Kree is down to 11 HP, so Bone Cold just breaks on in. Now, 10 seconds. You can see them trying to catch that spike on the cross. 10 seconds. They need the spike to be down pretty soon. Stark so left in the 1v2, though. He can't find the time nor the space. And it was too late as NIP make it to 11 now. This is scary. This is pressure time for Ascend. These boys come in as favorites. Now, NIP, I've got to say, Rhyme to me has stood out here in this game. One, he's just been keeping track of CNET. He has not let him get away with it. And if you're going to say, mark your man, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is straight up, he's yours for this game. You, If you lock him down, we, we have a chance. And you know what? Rhyme's been doing well at it. As indeed, as, uh, I'll be honest, the, the longer this goes on, the cracks start to show in his ascend. That right there is a... <laughs> A round that's played out in a way that we wouldn't expect of Ascend. Very slow, very progressive, right down to the wire, and it's a scrappy attempt to salvage. Come around though, it's again a slow approach early on. JD with this wall down in Hooker, he's posted right behind it here, so looking for that early map control. And that 1v1 you're talking about, Rhyme and CNED trading back and forth. A little bit on short, but it's actually Korea to open things up here. Cold Amenta will fall. With Cold Amenta down. It'll be a little bit trickier to split through towards B. The crossfire gets a little bit tougher to break. JD trying to get out of here. <laughs> uh, oh no, he's just gone towards Korea. What have you done? Oh no, you baited me out. That's a... <laughs> just straight up baits out his buddy by sheer accident. Flying in, Bone Cold finds two. Chihuahua does trade through, so now back to a 3v3. Spike is on the site, and Killer is going to keep the player towards the TP locked for now. It's a bit of a cat and mouse game, but Rhyme going to move forward, take a bit of site control. The Kukos trying to find Killers. And now left in a big battle. Whoever wins this can lock down a huge portion of the map. And Akuko says, screw it, I'm going through towards Hookah. But seeing it finding Chihuahua is big as Rhyme now tries to creep closer, finds him, marks his man once again. Oh, Rhyme, that's sublime. But now look at this. Killers, that post plant is dirty. And now here comes the biggest problem. Can they get it to halfway? Yes, but now they need to find out how to get around this. And Killers finds Akukos. He needs the second as well. Time. The There's not so much one left landed. of it. Can Rhyme do anything about this? I don't know if he can. Killers is pretty wait, far away. Wait, but he's going to stick wait. this. Oh, it's so good for Rhyme. Oh, my word. Killers. Point. Again, resets towards Fountain for that lineup. And both members of Ascend fall so quickly that he, he can't play the time on the first molly. He has to throw them both at the same time and then go challenge. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. All, again, they, I, I, all they needed to do was survive on long. All they needed I mean, to do. I tell mean, okay. tell Rhyme that. Tell Rhyme to just let him survive on long. He just bullied in there. Oof. That's tough. NIP put themselves on series point now, though. Blinded. A lot to ask of, of, I was going to say, a lot to ask of Ascend here. Wait. It's a scary time now. Spike. Where is the spike actually? Was that being planted? Wait, what on earth just happened? <laughs> the back and forth astral walls. <laughs> oh, I was like, where is this new site that they've got the plant on? But what I see now is a 1v4. And this is going to be all well over. Oh my word. Ascend. Crumbling towards the end of this series here. NIP holding strong, stabilizing after that map one loss. A 13-8 victory here on Bind, and our recent new champions fall to NIP.